From low self-esteem to visits to the emergency room, tooth problems can affect your job, your social life, even your self-esteem. And for many, dental care is just too expensive, which is why local people can now earn free dental care by doing community service. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean is now joining us this morning. And Kristen, it's a pay it forward program that allows people to pay for treatment by helping out in the community. Yeah, this is not free dental work. This is earned dental work. It allows people to get the work they need with dignity. I have not been to a dentist in years. Like millions of Americans, Marjorie Holderman can't afford dental care. I have no dental insurance and dental is expensive. And that means she lives in pain and rarely smiles. Well, I know that a lot of times when I smile, I don't actually smile. You know, you might get a... <laughs> so I, I think now I'll be able to actually show my teeth when I smile. That's because Holderman is the first patient in the Dr. Angie's Dental Health Exchange Program. She'll get the dental work she needs for free, but she'll earn it by doing community service. Well, there's just a great deal of pride that goes along with patients that are able to earn their care. This program was co-founded by Amy Hazelwood in honor of her daughter Angie, a local dentist who died of cancer in 2011. She had wanted to get something started to help people that were in need in our local community. And now, even after her death, she is. People who enroll in the program can get x-rays, cleanings, fillings, and more. For every hour of dental work they need, they have to donate that many hours of community service. For Holderman, this will mean a happier life, and for many others, it will mean a healthier one. But it's actually... Uh, a medical issue too. People can die from dental infections and the people that we're seeing right now are straight from emergency departments. This program is brand new but Holderman says it's already making a difference for her. Just with the cleanings I've been going through I've noticed a difference. Now right now the program's only open to people who are emergency department referrals but over the next few weeks they're going to open it up to anyone who's a St. Joe County resident over the age of 18 who's low income. We'll of course put a link to this on our website at WSBT.com. In the newsroom I'm Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.